Welcome back to TaxPress. I'm going to show you today how to get started with the actual opening of a balanced account into Weist. So this feature is a fantastic for managing money into multiple currencies, making it ideal for travelers, fleet dancers, and anyone dealing with international transactions. So let's dive into the steps of how you can get your balance account set up into your Weist account. First of all, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description to have an actual Wise account totally for free. Once you have your actual Wise account, what you want to do is to provide an email as well as a passcode, and verify that email, and then you're actually good to go. We have an actual full tutorial how you can create an account here into Wise, confirm your identity, and make the verification process do factor authenticator in order to have used of all the features directly here into Wise. So you can check that out directly into our videos, YouTube videos inside our actual text rest channel. Inside here into Wise, now they have access to the full actual elements and the full control of Wise account. Let's access the balance section. So if you focus here into home section, you can see that we have the total balances. We have the send, add money, and the request. And you see that we have all these actual currencies in order to accept uh, payments here. So what you want to do, of course, is explore ways to spend, save, and grow your money. So here, what you want to do, of course, is to focus into the balancing sections. So WISE allows you to hold and manage money in over 50 different currencies. So you can choose which currency you need to balance for based on your financial activities. So I can choose the option that says open. And it's going to be asking us for an actual balance or a job in 40, more than 40 currencies. So I can choose a side money from whatever I need it, or I can send received and spent money. So I choose the option that says balanced and I go for open. This is the part where you want to choose your currency. Now click into open a balanced as we did before and some additional verification step at this point depending on your account status and the currencies you're actually choosing. So this might include uploading documents to verify your identity or the address. In this case, we now have access to the whole WISE account. So I choose this element that says choose currency. And I can choose different currencies with account details. For example, the Hungarian forint, Singapore dollar, Turkish lira, and currencies without account details. So once you choose the element you wanted to receive, let's say for example, the Hungarian forint, I go for confirmed. And this is the part where you wanted to activate your balance. So after you select your currency and completing any necessary verifications, you might be needing an actual balance to will be activated. So you'll know to be able to add money to this balance either by transferring funds from a bank account, another wise balance, or receiving payments directly into the Binance account. So you can see that we have now the actual elements already been added here. If I go back into the home section, you can see that we have all the actual new accounts created and here is the actual element that we have just received. So if you select the actual currency that you created, you can see that we have the element that says verify for account details. If I choose the option that says verify for account details, here's going to appear in here the hero account details in order to receive that money. So with your balance now active, you can use it to send money to other accounts. You can spend using a wise debit card. This is not enabled into all the currencies, into all the websites. You want to make sure this one is enabled into your country. And if not, you have to worry about the wise still works with a lot of elements directly inside your account. So I just wanted to make sure that I have all the actual elements of my new opening uh, balance. So I choose, for example, USD. And here I choose this element. And you should see that we now have all the new, all the account details about our currency. And directly into the transaction, you should see that we have all the elements, all the information about the transactions we have done through the actual months and all that. If you focus into transaction details, you can see all the updates, all the details uh, from general bills, cash, eating out, entertainment expenses, and so much more elements that you focus it here into WISE. You can do so much more elements that are opening accounts, for example, adding a card, adding more the shipments, check out the recurring payment, and even add a few dollars into WISE just by embedding people directly into your WISE account. Lastly, what I wanted to make sure, of course, is that when you actually focused inside your WISE.com account, you wanted to focus into your personal information to verify your account, verify all your business information, your account details in order to have access to the whole new tools that appears into WISE. And if you have an actual private account, you can create a business account in no time. It's going to be really easy, of course, to get an actual business account. 
What you need to do is to have a local bank account, saving time, it's going to be helping us to send batch payments and adding teams to your actual account. So that guys is how we can actually get started with adding different balances into one's account. Even the jar is actually a great element to let's say set aside money, save towards the gold and move money out instantly guys. Really easy way to get started here. So with that being said guys, you can never to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great elements of how we can get started into Weist. Hopefully with all that being said, you can see you to your brand new section of TechRest. See you next time.